float, flutter and float, a graceful golden butterfly flutters in the summer sky. Flutter, float, flutter, float, flutter. Float, float. Oh, what come next? Our class is made up of children ages three to five. Um, and we're a part-day classroom, so the children are only there four hours a day. I feel that persistence is really important because it helps to teach the children to stay with something even though it gets difficult. And that the more that you try, you're learning each time you try. And even if that second time isn't successful, you've learned a little bit more. And so let's look down here. Look, ta-da! Is this the same as this? Yes. So what would go right here then? Using games as a way to, to foster that persistence, I think, is very helpful, um, especially because I think a lot of the games that, that we were working on, they're not competitive games, um, and I think that makes it a lot, help, lot more helpful for the children, too. Um, and it makes it fun. Oh, you are. Your B is higher than double. Yeah. How many spots? Four. Four. So let's move in four spots. We read that, the book, The Little Engine That Could, and that really resonated with a lot of them. Um, and so you will hear them sometimes going through the room and they'll say, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And that just really, I think that's just something that really stuck with a lot of the boys and girls, um, the story itself and just the idea of that I can do it. I know I can do it. I just have to keep trying.